everyone welcome to my new speed paint video and this one is for a painting painting called Cassiopeia I'm not quite sure how you say it in English um, but anyway uh, let's go straight into it I transfer my sketch onto my watercolor paper and now I'm doing my first layer of background and um, as the name is and you can you know be a hint to what it is about um, I'm gonna paint uh, outer space and um, cosmos and galaxy, whatever you want to call it. But first, I'm starting by painting a very colored uh, background, and I'm using a lot of salt to create texture. And when that was very dry and I've removed the salt, I'm going in with a layer of uh, gray. And I repeat the same process, except this time I'm not working uh, wet on wet. I'm working wet on dry because I don't want to reactivate the layer underneath by adding too much water. And now I think I'm going to add one more. I think in total I did three or four layers of grey. I don't remember if I recorded all of them. Um, yeah, here is another story. I should have edited that out. I was uh, obviously streaming on that day and uh, some, I edit most of it out, but um, I still add a little bit hiding in there so yeah that's another layer of gray where I, i'm trying to deepen and um, bring some depth into the background for this painting i chose not to use masking fluid uh, to protect the silhouette and i kind of uh, went wrong when i went around the feet on the, the back foot especially so i'm gonna solve that in a little bit Anyway, I'm moving on now that it's all dry. I'm moving on to the uh, body and the skin tone. And um, I always work for the first layer of skin tone. I always work um, wet on wet um, because I want very smooth, even layers. And I'm starting with my shading. As you can see my face is coming in the frame. Uh, my camera was probably a bit higher than usual. That's why I'm so much in the camera. So I started this painting about uh, a, a month a month ago and then I had to put it aside because I had some of the work I needed to work on before uh, coming back to this one. So I finished this one last week. In total I think it took me about 10 to 12 hours of painting plus maybe 3 hours, 3-4 three, hours of sketching. I don't know, I, I worked on the sketch on and off until I was happy with it and here you can see the original sketch. And I use it, <coughs> used it as a reference, sorry, I've, I've got a bit of a cold, obviously. I used it as a bit of a reference uh, for the hair here, to know where it went. And I'm using the same grey, which is um, Paint Grey by Schmincke. I think that's how you say it. I'm starting by sketching roughly where the um, hair line is going. And then I'm adding some grey and burning it out. Later on I will come back and add some white to um, create some highlights. Now I'm going to work some more on the dress by mixing some more green. So I've got plenty and I have trouble doing that dress. Um, I think part of it is uh, my sketch wasn't really accurate. Um, I, I didn't do a very good job at sketching flowy fabric. And um, I wasn't too happy coming into the painting. It, it was a bit difficult to make it work. So I soldiered on, soldiered on this painting. Anyway, I've moved on to adding some highlights to the hair and I'm using white gouache for that. And I'm going back to the dress a little bit. And uh, um, it was really a game of patience, this painting. I had to wait for things to dry before moving on the next stage and more highlight I, I will add highlight to all of the strand of hair I suppose that's how you could be describing them I really wanted them to look more like um, cloud space clouds and I think it's work it's working out in the end I'm now working some more on the dress And in the end, I went in with my pencil to make sure that I had a map. And it did help in a little bit. Uh, it did improve things. I, I'm still not 100% happy with how it looks. Um, 
I'm pretty sure I could have done better and I will do better next time on painting a pretty dress fabric thing. Here I'm using some white gouache to add more highlights to this dress and I'm starting to work on the different layers of fabric. And I think that's the day after I did work on it uh, off camera and I brought it to a point where I was a bit happier about how it looked. So more shading, there was a lot of shading going on on those layers. It looks a bit like a, a flower or something, which is not a bad thing. And I'm adding some more shading to create some um, bumps and valleys in the, in, the, in the fabric. And that's working pretty well. And I'm gonna need the highlights on the dress and I'm pretty sure I won't do much more to it now at this point. I can't, I'm trying to remember and I think that's pretty much the end of it for the dress. Now we're on to doing the um, stars, so I couldn't find them all. So I'm using some very dilated gouache and I protected the girl. Um, and I'm adding a belt and the belt is going to be gold but I needed um, to put some white down so that I could be sure that the gold would be visible. I'm adding some planets, all with gouache mostly with gouache, a little bit of watercolor as well to tint the gouache and I'm using um, it's a Faber-Castell pit pen, pit art artist pen in gold, it's India ink I really like this one, it's working very well and I'm using colored pencil to add some depth to the planets and some shading to make them look round and some highlights with a gel pen And I'm sketching her uh, tattoos and using my gold pen to ink them in. And I think that's pretty much it for this painting. I don't think I did much more. I, I went back and defined the end of it, the hands a little bit more. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. Thank you guys for watching. The prints and the original are all available. So please check the links in the description box below if you are interested in either buying the print or the original. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye bye.